collaborative materials. And on this one, I'm just going to talk about a couple things. So the big one is we've always followed the ERG guideline book. It's that orange book. I think we'll, I'll see a picture of it here in a second. I, I'm going to go forward until I see it. Anyways, yeah, there it is. This book should be in every single ambulance. All right. I use this book when I was a trucker. Have I ever looked at this book? No. And realistically, no one has ever read this book except for hazmat specialists. So there's lots of different colors and things you need to be aware of. Here's the big ones, okay? Orange, red, and yellow are things you need to be worried about with fire. Orange means explosive, red means flammable, and yellow is oxygen. Obviously, all of those things react with fire, and you don't want them around fire. Now, everything else is relatively benign, and you can still fight it as a firefighter the same way, but there's a black and white one, and they'll have like a skull and crossbones. You can kind of see a little one here. That means it's hazardous, right? It might be that it's corrosive. When I was a trucker, I used to deliver batteries, car batteries. And technically that's a hazardous material when it's in bulk. So I had to put like corrosive hazmat stickers on my truck when I was doing that. But um, there's only one more you guys need to know about. You can see there's a blue one here. What does blue mean? It means it's dangerous when it's wet. Remember we were talking about lye, like in that movie Fight Club the other day? Dangerous when wet, it reacts with water. Those are the big ones I need you to know about. The big ones are all the fire colors, red, yellow, and orange. <clears throat> That's basically what you guys, it's important to know about. There's tons of these radio. I mean, you can just read most of them and it'll tell you what's going on, right? Now, these are used on fixed facilities and sometimes these are a little more difficult. These have to do with the flame, flame reactivity. It doesn't matter. You can use your ERG notebooks. If you have something like this at a fixed facility, they're gonna know all that information and they're gonna have pre-planned procedures for when things hit the fan, all right? Again, there's a difference between industrial locations where this can happen and a meth lab, which is also a very likely place to have a hazardous material exposure. Stay uphill and upwind is the moral of that story. BSI and scene safety.